Netanyahu says Iran must change its behavior. Knesset Speaker Yuli Edelstein speaks to J-Post. Islamic Republic reveals new missile program. And campaign calls for politicians to act with respect. Shalom and welcome to the Jerusalem Post News. Here are your headlines for Monday, March 9th. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu outlined part of what he calls a better deal for curbing Iran's nuclear program on Sunday. I think there is a better deal. The better deal is to uh, increase the breakout time, to limit Iran's infrastructure, and secondly, to condition the lifting, link the lifting of restrictions on Iran's nuclear program in the future to a change in Iran's behavior, to have it stop uh, instigating aggression against its neighbors, worldwide terrorism that it's doing, and to have them stop threatening the annihilation of Israel. I think that's a better deal. Netanyahu on Sunday denied a report that he's backed off a two-state solution and said that the topic was now irrelevant. Knesset Speaker Yuli Edelstein was at the JPO studios to speak about the issue with political correspondent Gil Hoffman. Please explain to the people watching this, what is Netanyahu's position on the Palestinian issue, because even after we received three different statements yesterday from various bodies of Likud in the Prime Minister's office, I don't get it. Well, the decision is very simple. Netanyahu believes and he understands that all these uh, statements, by the way, some of them he made himself about uh, the support of the idea of the two-state solution, are irrelevant because of the situation in the area and because of the Palestinian position. So it's very interesting to play ping pong with ourselves, and you know that I'm fond of playing ping pong. But uh, when we're talking about serious issues, the only serious position could be, A, we are going to manage the conflict the way that there will be as little terror attacks as possible, as little conflicts as possible, as little international pressure as possible. And as far as I'm concerned, I think that we c it's high time that we start really uh, promoting real cooperation in our area. Iran unveiled a new missile defense system on Sunday at a military ceremony in Tehran, according to the Islamic Republic's press TV. A new long-range surface-to-surface cruise missile program is called SUMAR and was manufactured in Iran by domestic experts and differs from previous missiles in both range, accuracy, and precision. The program was hailed as an important achievement made possible through research and innovation. The NGO Gesher released a clip on Monday promoting peaceful electioneering between candidates. The organization, dedicated to closing the gap between secular and religious Jews, released its Ten Commandments for the elections to promote respectful dialogue between candidates and help them be an example of how to disagree and still behave appropriately. Gesher's rules are respect candidates, be tolerant and patient, act responsibly, be a role model, don't be aggressive, don't incite, don't be divisive, don't disregard, be authentic and accountable, and argue the issue, not the person. And that's all for today. We'll be back tomorrow with more headlines. For now, Shalom from the Jerusalem Post Studios.